Hello guys, how are you doing? So, I'm going to watch episode 10 of the second season of Food Wars today. And it's going to be interesting to see if somebody is actually going to be able to beat uh, both Akira and Ryo because uh, the judges weren't so pleased with, with uh, his dish, or at least for now. But uh, now Soma wants them to take second, so um, he has uh, something special for them and uh, hopefully that will um, really improve this dish. And we could see by the judges' reactions that uh, they were like um, excited about it, like the, they started smiling. So yeah, it's uh, definitely going to be interesting to see what happens. I'm really loving these finals. We saw um, all three of them serving uh, some really good dishes and like mostly Akira and uh, Ryo for now because uh, we still have to see more uh, about the Soma's dish. Uh, but yeah, really can't wait to see uh, the outcome of these finals and uh, to learn about uh, who exactly is going to um, to win this whole thing. So with this, really hope you guys are ready and let's start this episode. Hmm. Really? Damn. I can't say I'm surprised. That's going to trigger him. Yeah, about this though. White soup. Okay then. I wonder. Yeah, this detail though about that guy actually doing that behind the scenes. Like manipulating people to his willing, like telling Subaru to target Soma in order for him to decide on this cooking battle and then he was expecting Soma to maybe be defeated, and uh, with that happening, uh, he would have. He would probably try to make Soma work for him once again. That's what he wanted before. But it's not going how he wants, so. It's like they say, everyone here is probably already really surprised by everything Soma is uh, able to do and how he overcomes these challenges. What about this white soup, though? Hmm... You're going to try it? It looks different. Hmm... Oh, 
All right then. That says a lot about it. Soy milk. That was pretty smart. Hmm. <laughs> he does some really unique stuff. Okay then. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, by now I don't know about that. They're starting to notice that he's backing up what he said. Yeah. He had a lot of passion, though. Hmm. That doesn't happen with him. It's definitely not easy. Yeah, this is how people normally think it is different, never gives up, never thinks that he just hit a wall. That's true. I really like this. Yep. 
They're starting to change their opinion about him. Let's see. I don't know if that's going to be enough for someone to win, but... Let's see what they say. I kind of have the feeling that he's not going to win. I don't know why, but... They still did really well, that's for sure. Yeah. Yep. Damn. Oh. Hmm. Oh. That's definitely so, ma. So May is normally really unique about the things he makes, but I don't know. The other two are also really good. Hmm. Oh damn, his story. There was June. Was really nice of her. You guys make a really good team. Hmm. I love this story between them. It was actually him, Akira. Oh, damn. That's why they were showing this backstory about him. At the idea it was not connected to him being the winner, but... Damn. 
that mean all three of them deserve it. It I'm not even sad about it. I'm actually really happy for both of them. June and Akira. Damn. Hmm. Ryu is pissed. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh damn. Oh. <laughs> yes, remove that. The headband. Yeah, about that. Hmm. Wants to learn with it. <laughs> now they also want to taste it. To see by themselves why it was the winner. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Yeah, they didn't decide on the third place. <laughs> oh my god. I love this. Yeah. Oh. That looks so adorable. That's a nice way to put it. So this means that Akira is going to be a member of the Elite now. Oh, Subaru. That's pretty cool. It's like he's changing and that guy is not happy about it. All of those dishes. Man, this was a really, really good moment. It was still really good from Soma to be able to accomplish this at this point. Oh, it's his father. He knows about it. Oh, actually asking about it. <laughs> like teasing him. Learning a lot there. Yeah, it is.
<laughs> yep. Yep. Actually, I had the idea that this dish from before was already, like, really unique in his own way. Like, we see him coming up with these, um, with these ingredients that no one is, like, expecting. And when they started talking about how they want uh, the dish to reflect the, um, like, the creator of it, like, when you taste it, you... Um, instantly know that it was that specific cook uh, who cooked it. I felt like Soma was included on this, but I guess not as much as Akira was. But in the end, I mean, it's hard to know these things because we can't even taste or smell or anything. We really need to go by what they say. But yeah, like I said, this actually makes me happy because in the end, Akira deserves it and just knowing everything that he went through, how he was like um, abandoned and he didn't have anyone and then got saved by June, it's a really, really interesting to see this, um, this character development and to see this relationship between him and, uh, and June and how she helped him so much. And like I said before, they make such a great team. It's really amazing to see. It actually makes me really happy that you won, and in the end, all of them learn with this. It's not like this is the end. Oh, it looks so nice. I mean, Nikumi looks nice with anything. Hehehe. <laughs> Oh, damn. Oh. She totally changes when she talks about him. Oh, he's explaining that to Akira. And Ryo. Oh, it's actually only Ryo. I did yeah, Akira was there too. Well, he's apparently there. <laughs> That's so mean. Yeah. It's really fun to see this relationship between them. Yeah, it's all about learning, never giving up. Taste testing festival. It's actually going to happen. <laughs> Poor Marui. It's always in his room. Oh. Hmm. Something about weapon. Stagiaire. 
Oh, damn. I wonder what's going to happen. It's uh, like it, it never stops. There's always uh, something new uh, happening right after these big events. Uh, but yeah, like I said, I'm really happy with this outcome. I feel like Akira really deserved it. Uh, he always... Um, like, it was never easy for him. He really had to work hard to get to this point. And in the end, just really loved all of this relationship between him and June. And how they are really close to each other. And uh, to me, they're like the, the perfect team. It's uh, really amazing to see them working together. Uh, so yeah, it, but uh, like, even with uh, Soma and Ryo losing, uh, it's... Uh, Again, all about learning, and uh, it's not like this is going to be the end for them. So this is why I'm not uh, sad that Soma uh, lost. I actually had the feeling that um, he was not going to win, even though it. Uh, I was like um, thinking that he was when they were uh, announcing uh, by the end. But uh, it was actually Akira winning. So um, in the end, it's um, it, it it would be like um, maybe too soon for Soma to win something uh, like this. Uh, because it's uh, his first year there, um, but yeah, it's um, it's something that he's going to to, to like remember, and uh, it's nice to see that they are all together, like figuring out uh, why exactly. Uh, like it, it's hard for me to explain this, but it's like they are tasting each other's dishes to try to to. To, to, like to understand why it was so good and to, to learn more about it and then using this experience to uh, create uh, something even better and uh, it's uh, going to be also about uh, like creating something that really shows your character so uh, it's uh, something that Soma is going to focus on right now most likely and uh, it's uh, definitely going to be interesting to see uh, how he does that uh, because we know that uh, he never gives up he's always um, like, uh, motivated to keep trying and, uh, like, even if he loses against these guys, uh, we see how he's just going to uh, taste their dishes and uh, learn about it and then use this to create something uh, unique to him. So, yeah, this is uh, something that I really love uh, about uh, this whole story and uh, this, uh, like, all of this character development to get to know... Uh, how exactly each one of them uh, were before uh, they got to, uh, to this uh, academy. And uh, with Akira, it was definitely not easy because he was uh, abandoned and uh, he didn't have anyone uh, to help him out. But thankfully, June was there. So uh, it was uh, really good for him because uh, it was just... Um, it, it, it would have been a really big waste of um, a really skilled guy. Like, uh, uh, if if Jun didn't uh, save him, uh, he probably could never um, show his skills to the world. But uh, now, with uh, all of this happening, uh, this is actually possible. And he just proved that by winning this autumn selection. So yeah, in the end, really happy about this. And right now, really can't wait to see what exactly is going to be happening during this uh, stagiary uh, thingy that's going to happen after. Uh, it's uh, We are probably going to end this season uh, with this. I'm actually not sure if uh, uh, they are going to show the whole thing because there's only three episodes left or so. So I don't know if they are just going to imply uh, what's um, about to happen. Uh, but yeah, definitely going to be great to see uh, more new things uh, about this and to get to know uh, more of uh, what's uh, going to happen. So with this, really hope you guys enjoyed my reaction to this episode. And if you did, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And you can also join my Discord and my Patreon if you want to get early access to my full reactions. So yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.